Right, hello, we're back at Focus on Image 2013, and we're here speaking with Stephen Bryony. We speak with you every year, don't we, Stephen? We do, yes, it's a pleasure. <laughs> You've come back again. I think the problem is you keep making new fun stuff, so uh, I'm going to have to keep turning up and fi filming it. Um, so what have we got this year that's brand new? Well, a, a year ago, we showed you the Titan 108 pinhole camera. Right, and that was this little one, wasn't it? That we'd, well, we, we showed this last this year. This was the very first one we showed yeah, you. Yeah, this, this was the one that we spent a long time raving over. And we I did. think you, you and had an example of this, but you didn't actually have it as a product? Correct. It was a prototype, and we were just asking people, what did they think? Would they buy it? And we got a thumbs up, much as we have for this. Right, so you, so this has been on sale for a year now, isn't um, it? Over a year now. Over a year now, And right? uh, it's done extremely well. Right. Thousands of units sold. Right, So it's great. exceeded our expectations by some way. Fantastic, that's um, good to know. So a year ago, the message was, if we made an 810 version, there were enough people out there who would like to buy it. Um, so here it is, it's for sale at the show. It's shipping to dealers this week. Right. So uh, it'll be in the States in about six weeks' time, and, and uh, Europe by the end of next week. And I, th I believe you've got a sample image made by one of these. We have. Um, Leon Taylor, who uh, has a website called Film Wasters, right. where you can watch a video about the camera, used it. And he, this is shot at Hastings down by the beach. Right. Um, and that is 10.8 um, film. Um, so I'm holding a 10.8 negative here to give you some idea of the size uh -huh. and we've scanned it and then printed it digitally back onto real black and white paper right. and clearly it's not as sharp as a 10.8 camera with a lens but that's part of the charm isn't it it is uh, but it's remarkable because people I mean, actually it with... is quite sharp actually. it is very sharp i mean from over here you would not know that that was a pinhole sharp no, i mean walker cameras have done another great job yeah and um we, we sold a couple at the show already, which is really nice. Right. Um, people are coming along and they're going, oh, wow, I've got to have Well, the people watching the video probably aren't at the show, so are these going to be available on the Ilford website? Um, well, they're going to be available from all further dealers. Um, in the UK, if we just talk UK prices, retail price on it, including VAT, will be £300. OK. Now, unlike the its little brother, the 5x4 camera, this one is shipped without the film and paper of the kit and the reason is we figure if you're into 10a you probably know what film you're going to use yeah you've probably got an idea on want. that stuff already yeah, yeah exactly and you've probably got somewhere to develop it all and you've got your own chemicals and, yes exactly yeah, yes. yeah yeah so and again is this sold uh, without the without the slide it is um we happen to have it with a toyo film holder here uh, these are still made in japan um but you can pick 10.8 film holders up on eBay, you know, quite reasonable prices. So right. there's little point in bundling in a film so again, holder. People, people might already have one of those if, yes. they, if they're interested in such a, a sort of a specialist large pinhole camera. Um, and it's very much like the old camera. It has a double set of clamps on each side for the cones. Um, and that's purely the size of it. It needs a stronger clamp. Right. And reinforced uh, tripod mounts okay, yep, yep. because of the size of it. And we've moved from the little bubble spirit level to a, oh, a, a little tube level, thing, which is yeah. better. Right. Just getting it level on this side of the camera is pretty difficult right. without a, a level of some kind. And just as always, we put a shoe on as well. well we've got a, a little cold shoe on there as well, right? So yeah. you, can, you can put your iPhone on and your Alper app and get a digital viewfinder for and it if you There wish. are a couple, of, uh, a couple of helper apps on there, aren't there now, yeah. Yes. Is it just iPhone or we've got some on Android as well, I think? I believe they're on Android now as well, but yeah. the one I know of is uh, the Alper one, and you dial in the film format, so which would be 10.8, right. the focal length, and then it gives you an angle of view and, and a representation. And what is the focal length of this? I believe this is 180. Right. Right, and are you, I know you've done, I think, uh, on the little one, you've got another cone available now? Yes, so that's a 72, and in the cabinet down here, a bit difficult to see, Let's have a look. Um, yeah. we've got a 110 and a 150. Right. So the 150 is rather like a standard lens on a 5.4 camera, and obviously the 72 is quite wide angle. Right. Most people want wide angle with pinhole. 
but we know there are some people who want the other focal lengths, so we've made them. Yeah, yeah. So any plans to do different focal lengths on this one? Um, it's a suck it and see, to be honest. Yeah. We waited a while. See how many you sell, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> and how many email requests we get to make them. Right, right, um, makes sense. It's quite wide angle already. Right. We think that will be the most popular one. I can see this being used for landscapes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's one I shot myself on it. All right. Um, it was oh, taken up in Little Langdale. It's right. Slater Bridge, um, and it, it, it's quite a um, it's nice shot to take because it's taken on the on the film, and then we scanned it and then digitally printed it to our black and white digital paper it's to beautiful. make this bigger image. And uh, it, it's really got a lovely feel to it with this motion in the water. Yeah. And yet there's pretty sharp handrail on the, the actual bridge Yeah, it's itself. looking good, that. That's, that's, that's a beautiful shot. It's very Derbyshire, that. It feels like Derbyshire, which is where I grew up. So I, I'm always seeing Derbyshire wherever I go. <laughs> it's the Cumbrian version of Derbyshire. Well, that's right, Cumbria. But uh, yeah, it just feels like Derbyshire. Yeah. There's something in the stone. So. Uh, Excited about it, expected to do pretty well, and Great. as I say, shipping now to dealers, um, should be in the shops very shortly. Great. Now, I think you've also got something that, uh, at the other end of the process, in the dark room. Yes. Um, I met a, a Something young, from the MOD. Well, there's a young man called Morgan <laughs> O'Donovan who ah. makes a adapter that lets you process 5x4 in sheet film uh -huh. inside the Patterson tank intended for three reels of film. Got you. So the film is trapped. I mean, you can see these yeah, yeah, little I've grooves, little... three of them there and here, here and here. So you get three curved sheets of film or paper. Three each side, is it? Three on the other. Right. And then you drop it into the tank on the centre spiral, seal it up, and with a litre of chemical you can process the six sheets. Got you. So if you combined, say, this camera yeah. with a changing bag and this, yeah. you've got a you can actually develop paper. in the field. You could, yes. Right, and, and this this setup is this enough to develop the um, the direct positive paper? Which yes, I'm... it would work perfectly with that. It's right. ideal for it. That's what I would use it for personally. Right. Um, right. So you the... still need to load this up in a dark environment. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you've got a changing bag, which yeah. gives you that, or if you've got a dark room and you get back, yeah. you can unload and load this up. Yeah. Um, dish processing 5.4 is not for the faint-hearted. Right. Whereas processing in this. It's pretty convenient, and you won't get scratches on your eggs. Right. It's just like processing 35 mil or real. Food. You see, I think that appeals to me. I, I, I think that's something I could see myself having a go at. This and I'm a digital guy. Policy. I'm a hardcore digital guy. Yeah. Sixth of <laughs> April, that starts to ship. Right. Great. And we, and and although we're not making it, yeah. Morgan O'Donovan's pointed us to be the worldwide distributor. Right. So it'll be available all over the world for people to buy. Great, and that's going to be from Ilford site or, or through distributors? Through dealers. Through dealers, rather? Uh, you know, we'll sell it um, through the normal channels that sell our film and paper. Right, so and what's the price on that? Retail price will be £46. Pounds oh, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. yeah. And if you've got the tank already, obviously, um, yeah. you don't need to buy that, but you can buy that tank still today, so there's no issue. Right, great stuff. All right, well, thank you very much for that. It's a very, very exciting time in a digital world to be getting back to pinhole photography. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. <music>